discussion and, and stuff. That way we remember better. Well, older people. Thank you. Yeah, I said, it's what's so different long. about it? Needs, it needs cut so bad. So, um, your gloves match your outfit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. how about that? Um, so today the visit is primarily to get the dressing off and make sure your incision looks good, get our first set of x-rays, make sure pain's controlled and all of that, okay? Oh, I have no pain. Good. So are you having to take pain medicine at all? None. Okay. Are you doing anything like ibuprofen? No. Okay. Are you icing? I am icing. Good. And I'm elevating. Yes. So I want you to continue that for sure. Okay. Well, that's one of our questions. Yeah, definitely want to continue icing and elevating. Your dressing's not going to be as bulky this this time around, so. That was another question. Yeah. So we're going to put a new dressing on here today, and you don't need to do anything with it. You just leave it be. Okay. Keep it clean. Keep it dry. Okay. We even put a, um, a garbage bag on my boot yesterday because I had to go out. I just had my rain. And it was on. so rainy. It was yeah. so rainy. Yeah. Here it goes. The unveiling. Let's get a drum roll. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Whoa, look at all that bruising. Yeah, and that's typical. So she used the dissolvable stitches, okay? Uh-huh. So those we won't have to take out. Um, and they typically will dissolve within about four weeks. Okay. okay. But I still don't want you to get the foot wet or anything for a couple more weeks. And what we'll do is see you back in two weeks and check it. If everything looks good, then we'll let you start showering. Okay. Wow. Um, but right now I'm going to put it, have her put a dressing on it and, um, that dressing you can just leave be. Now, if it were to become wet or soiled, take it off and redress it. Okay. okay. Do not put anything on the incision like Neosporin or anything like that. Okay? okay. So if you have to change it, dry dressing, gauze and a wrap. Right. Okay. Um, hopefully it won't, you, I mean, you won't have any issues and you can just leave that dressing on. Okay. okay. So I'm not going to have like a cast on my foot. No, not right. Well, you're six weeks of non-weight bearing. So, I mean, typically when you come back in two weeks, which is our three week visit, typically I'll put you in something like a boot or a cast. Okay. Um, because you're going to be non-weight bearing for another three weeks. And okay. sometimes... You know, sometimes a boot is fine if you will be compliant and not walk on it. Yeah. Um, so we probably will just do that so that you can take it on and off to That's been great, yeah. ice and that sort this of thing. This has been working out great, yeah. taking off at nighttime, but keeping it on during the day to protect it. Yeah, on our less compliant patients, oh, okay. sometimes I will cast it because yeah. they will... Mm -hmm. I'll protect them from themselves. Mm -hmm. But if, you know, if you do good and you, but you're going to be no weight on this foot for a period of six weeks total. Okay. Oh, okay. So, um, probably next visit, I'll check it. If it looks good, we'll let you start showering and getting it wet, but you'll still be non weight bearing. Got it. And then we'll repeat our x-ray in uh, at the six week mark. And okay. am I allowed to like move my toes? Yeah, that's something? not going to hurt anything. Okay. Yeah. But that looks good. I'm going to take a picture for the chart. Okay. And then uh, Robin will come in and get another dressing on there. Um, and I would just continue what you're doing. I'm glad you're not having any pain. Yeah. But definitely continue icing and elevating because the more it's down, the more it'll swell. Of course. And the more yeah. swelling, the more uncomfortable. And I'm still teaching all my classes. And good. So you find an assistant? No. <laughs> you're, you're just kind of teaching it on that? Well, I'm just sitting in a chair. Oh, they have been in my class for a long time, so... So they know the they know the poses and stuff. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. So I think everything looks good. So I'll show you your X-rays, mm -hmm. and then get a shot um, of that if I can. Robin will come um, in and get a dressing on there. Picture or just do it on video. Uh, no, we can just do it on video. Okay, good. I can take a snapshot. Sorry. And then we'll just see you back in in two weeks. And two that weeks. visit is kind of a wound check to see if we can let you start showering. Okay. And then we'll repeat an X-ray at the next visit from there. Got it. And then if everything looks good at six weeks, you'll be able to start walking. Yippee. And no driving as long as you're non-weight bearing and in that boot. Okay. okay. So here's your x-rays. All right. Let's do this. There's your before. And there's your after. Get the after there, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. So tell me what all that is. Like she said, she did a plate and a screw. Mm -hmm. Can you point to those things? So this is the plate. Okay. And then the plate has holes in it. It may make more sense looking at it this way. So the plate is, is 
is on the, the metatarsal, and then there's screws. Okay, so why would those screws not hurt my skin? Typically they don't, because they're embedded in the bone. They're through okay. your bone, so they shouldn't, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, this kind of looks better here as far as... Like, see that one seems like it goes straight out a little, and, and you shouldn't have any issues. Um, but if, if, if we do, we can, I don't, I don't, it's so two dimensional. So sometimes it's hard to like really judge. This kind of looks good here. So you can kind of see the plate and then the plate has holes in it. Mm -hmm. And then these screws go through the plate. Got okay. It. And then, um, they actually lock into the plate. So if you would were to feel the plate, it would feel smooth. So you wouldn't have screws sticking up. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll kind of watch that and see as it grows, but you can definitely tell how it's aligned better now. And this is kind of how it's rotated too. Your foot's kind of rotated. So we'll just watch it as we go and go from there. But it okay. looks good to me. All right, good. All right. So I will have Robin come in and put a new dressing on there. And like I said, that dressing you can leave be as long as it stays dry and clean. If need to change the dressing, nothing on the incision, but dry dressing and gauze, okay? okay. And still no weight on the boot or no weight on the foot. Got it. Um, ice and elevate. Okay, thanks. Okay. Do you guys have any questions for me? Nope. I'm just All glad right. I'm allowed to, so I'm allowed to do... Like, yeah, you can wiggle things. your feet and stuff. Yeah, I think that's fine. But okay. I'd be careful doing much, too much with the ankle, though, because the peroneal tendon, which comes down here, inserts on that base of the fifth. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing a lot of ankle, that's pulling on, pulling down here. Got it. And that can affect that. So wiggling the toes, I think, is fine, but don't do too much with the ankle, right? Okay. Okay. Is that where the bruise is that kind of goes from, you know, uh, around the... Yeah, yeah that, uh, the foot's weird. There's, it's kind of, I always tell people it's kind of like the Titanic. It has different compartments. And so when one compartment, it, it bleeds over. Mm -hmm. So it's not uncommon for like, even after a knee surgery, blood to settle down in those pockets. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's just from gravity. Mm -hmm. But that all looks normal. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. She'll be in shortly, okay? Right. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye, guys. I'm glad you're doing well. Thanks. Yeah. So, do you want to say anything on this video? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They're smiling. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. I'm going to end it. Sure.